So with your examples, um, currently, your sound will carry on. So on this one, we've got the frog will carry on making that noise when we click on it. While the fox is going. And if I click on this one, we've got all three sounds at the same time. And what we want to do is to try and stop that from happening. Okay. Also, um, in this example, I'd maybe recommend changing the back, um, adding a background box or something so that you've got a different color for each page. So you've got a rough visual idea which page you're on. Um, so, in your actions, on the first scene, so whatever scene you've got. Oh, God. Um, I'll have a look at it in a minute, but um, it looks grim for you. Okay, so Charlie, are you on this as well? Right. Um, basically, where we've created the sound the first time, what we're going to do is we're going to create a sound channel. And we'll just call it VAR sound channel, which is a sound channel, funnily enough, which equals new sound uh, channel. And then what we do is when we tell new raw to play, we say that sound channel, the name of the variable that I've just created here, equals the same thing. Then when we change to the next scene, what we do is we sell sound channel stop. Like so, everything should be okay. All you need to do then is, well, that's pretty much it, really. One more little thing. is to tell each of the sounds on each scene that they are part of the sound channel object. And then, fingers crossed, it works and stops. Oh, good. Okay, so let's just 